Um, welcome or welcome back to Tiny Help at C squared. In this example, we have we need to find the value of x if e f d f and e d are given in this form of algebraic expression containing the letter x and the perimeter of triangle ABC is 230. So you notice we are given e f d f and e d. These are the sides of the most triangle and each side of this small triangle, EF, for example, is the mid-segment of triangle ABC. How do I know that? Because I notice AE congruent to VC, so which means point E is a midpoint. The same point F is a midpoint because these two sides, AE and FG, are congruent. And the same for point D. All these three points are midpoints, so Every single segment you see here, EF, uh, DF, and DE, all these three segments are mid segments. And now we can use the property of a mid segment, which is given down here. Uh, the mid segment is half the length of the third side of the triangle. But in this case, I think the best way to look to this problem is by saying that the third side of the triangle, so for instance, let's take uh, AB, it's twice the mid-segment DE. So it will be twice x plus 4. Uh, similar, we can go with AC. AC will be twice the measure of the mid-segment mid DF. So it will be twice times uh, x minus 1. And the last statement I can write is it is uh, BC, right, is twice EF. Which means 2 times 3x plus 2. And now we know that if we add these three sides, AB, AC, and BC, we get the perimeter of 230. So I'm going to write an equation here 2 times the quantity x plus 4 plus 2 times the quantity x minus 1 plus 2 times the quantity 3x plus 2 equals to 30 and you can use distributive property here or if you notice we have this multiple multiplication of two we can divide by two and get the simplest form and avoid that distributive property so we can have x plus 4 plus x minus 1 plus 3x plus 2 and we're going to divide by 2 that 230 and we get 115 and this is another property you can write from the beginning thinking about the perimeter of the small triangle df it's half of the perimeter of the original triangle the large triangle and now we're going to combine the axes and we have five axes here and we can, can combine the numbers and we're going to have plus 5 equals 115 we can subtract 5 from both sides and we have 5x equals 110 divide by 5 we get x equals 22 and that's it for this problem uh, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to click the like button and come back on c square for more help thank you